DIY tutorial video. This evening we are going to make oil blends for well-being. I read this book last year by Gail Pussy. The original title is Enchanted Herbal and it contains many recipes whether for cooking, cosmetics, spirituality or homemade products. And there are many oil-based recipes for the skin, which I wanted to try, so we are going to make a few tonight. As you can see, I put many pieces of paper to bookmark some pages, but we will try only three recipes tonight. So I've gathered all my essential oils as well as base oils and floral waters that I might need. We have this first one, a very good, very versatile oil, sweet almond. You can use it just as it is for the skin or blend it with other ingredients to make natural cosmetics. It is the perfect oil for sensitive skin and it's rich in vitamin A and E as well as potassium zinc and proteins and of course you can eat it so if I had to choose one oil only it would be this one there is a lot of wind today I hope you won't mind Another well-known oil is jojoba. Mm. Used both for skin and hair. It contains a lot of vitamin E. But it also has very interesting medicinal properties. It's antifungal, anti-inflammatory, good for reducing pain from sun damage, very beneficial to acne prone skin and so much more. And what's great with this one is that it is easily absorbed and it doesn't leave a greasy skin. What else? Hmm. Grapeseed oil. Very soothing. Very nourishing as well, great for aging skins. Um, 
orange blossom water with an amazing fragrance that I absolutely love to use in cakes and biscuits. It's very good for aging skin as well since it helps reduce dark spots and makes the face skin firmer and glow. And one last. This is Witch Hazel Water. Great for relieving skin discomfort, especially on the face, such as irritation or itching. And it smells a bit like green tea, gunpowder green tea. It is also a good tonic that tightens the pores and reduces facial redness. And you can use it for the hair as well. I will also use a bit of vegetable glycerin, which is made from vegetable fats. It's quite thick. It's totally odorless, but you're not supposed to use it directly on the skin. You will have to blend it with other oils or ingredients to make products such as shampoos or face lotions. It is not soluble in oils, but it is in water. And it's very moisturizing and soothing. I will also use a few bowls, spoons, a tiny funnel, and of course, some clean bottles. Let's start with the first recipe. This is a citrus fruit face cleanser and for this one I'm going to need orange blossom water. Which hazel water and a bit of glycerin. And for the essential oils, um, should definitely put some labels on the lids so I wouldn't have to search for them every time but it wouldn't be as stingly <laughs> right so I'm going to need narrowly essential oil this is the most expensive oil I've ever bought but it's considered the best for the skin and it's also a very calming oil for nervous and stressed people. And the smell reminds me of orange blossom water, but even better. I'm also going to need... Mm, Lemon essential oil, a very classic one, probably the cheapest amongst all, so we have some kind of balance here. Mm, it's very refreshing. So 
I will put it in a small bottle like this that I have cleaned with boiling water just before and a bowl one cup of orange blossom water mm. the same quantity of witch hazel water And now about two drops of neroli essential oil. my tiny funnel I'm going to put it in the bottle on the table as well not the most convenient bowl I'm afraid it happens so you are supposed to use it directly on the skin using a cotton pad but avoiding the eye area I won't try it now because I don't want to remove my makeup yet but I will try it just after the recording is done Very good. All right, let's. 
let's put a label on it mm. specifically for muscles and joints so I'm thinking about my hands here and for this I will need sweet almond oil Ginger essential oil, very good for reducing pain such as headaches, back pain, and for relieving tired muscles as well. This oil can be a bit harsh for some skins, especially if yours is sensitive. So what I'm going to do is replace half of the ginger with the same quantity of chamomile chamomile essential oil which is very soothing this is rosemary, we are going to need it as well and now Rosemary essential oil is well known for being anti-inflammatory, which is very beneficial for a massage oil. So I'm going to take a clean bowl. And let's start. So... going to need two tablespoons of sweet almond oil strong smell
same for the chamomile essential oil a very sweet smell this time an interesting smell but a bit strange I must say alright I'm going to put it in this bottle here always make sure to use a tinted glass bottle or store it in a dark cupboard so the light won't alter the oil properties and I'm just going to clean this so I can use it again I'm going to be careful this time Using the spoon Perfect This one I will use at the end of the video Let's pick a lapel is not much but you are supposed to use a few drops at a time only so it should be enough and finally the last recipe is going to be the sweet dreams bath oil so it will be used in water for pure relaxation and I believe you can also use it for a foot bath if you don't have a bathtub so for this one I'm going to need a good amount of sweet almond oil again but you can also use jojoba or grapeseed oil I think I will use half of sweet almond oil and half of jojoba oil to get both properties and then several 
very relaxing essential oils mm. so. actually um, this is not a smell I'm very fond of usually but it's going to be mixed with other oils so I will give it a chance Mm. And then sandalwood, which is a fragrance I love this time. It's very good for boosting health as well. And finally. Geranium, very good for reducing feelings of anxiety or tension. And a very pleasant smell as well. I think this is going to smell pretty amazing in the end. same quantity of jojoba oil one and two it's a very pretty yellow color quite sunny okay and then drops of sandalwood please mm -hmm. this one must be very thick two drops of geranium essential oil mm. one two mm, it 
And for that I will choose a bigger bottle, but this one is not tinted, so I will have to keep it stored in a cupboard. Right. I can reuse my funnel since the ingredients are quite similar. has become quite a mess here. I can't wait to try this one as soon as I have the chance to take a bath. So I think I will have to use about half of the bottle for one pass. Such a pretty color. Now, the label. Mm. which of these recipes you'd like to try at home. Right now I'm going to apply the massage oil on my hands and if I like it, I will probably use it later for my back as well. So just a few drops. Thank you for watching and as always I wish you a very good